Speaking at the plenary session of the 4th Nuclear Security Summit, NSS, in Washington, D.C. on Friday, Dato Sri Zahid said although the summit had intensified efforts to bring the issue of nuclear security to the forefront, it must also strengthen the capacity to maintain effective control and undertake preemptive actions to ensure nuclear security. He added that the NSS need to further enhance cooperation and capacity building, timely sharing of information and intelligence, and adopt best practices to secure nuclear materials. Maklumat yang dikongsi bersama ini perlu kerana ianya amat dikuatiri oleh masyarakat dunia kerana jika bahan-bahan berkenaan diperolehi oleh tangan-tangan yang tersembunyi, ianya menyebabkan pemusnahan secara yang lebih besar dan dalam keadaan inilah ancaman dalam bentuk mass instructions harus dielakkan dan kekhawatiran ini harus ditangani lebih awal agar apa yang digambarkan di dalam sidang kemuncak ini bahawa terdapat bahan-bahan radiologi ini yang telah dicuri dan dijual di dalam pasaran gelap dan amat dikhawatiri jika bahan-bahan kenaan jatuh kepada pihak penganas yang akan menggunakan bahan-bahan nuklear ini. He said Malaysia as a state party of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT, and a member state of the IAEA has undertaken various measures and is fully committed in supporting the efforts to achieve global nuclear security. It also had set up a nuclear security detection laboratory and deployed radiation detection equipment at all points of entry and exit in the country. Representatives from more than 50 nations, along with international organizations like the United Nations and Interpol, attended the two-day summit which ended Friday. Also at the summit, President Barack Obama urged world leaders to do more to safeguard vulnerable nuclear facilities to prevent madmen from groups like IS from getting their hands on a nuclear weapon or a radioactive dirty bomb. In fact, as ISIL is squeezed in Syria and Iraq, we can anticipate it lashing out elsewhere as we've seen most recently and tragically in countries from Turkey to Brussels. And this means that the sense of urgency that we've shown in destroying ISIL in Iraq and Syria also has to infuse our efforts to prevent attacks around the world. The absence of nuclear superpower Russia from the summit was notable, with its President Vladimir Putin refusing to attend the summit, while Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif of Pakistan cancelled his trip after the deadly bombing in Lahore. Both countries are nuclear-armed.